Good morning students. Today we are going to learn a new chapter from your grammar book for which open to page number 18 to chapter number 5 that is one and many singular and plural nouns. Students let me tell you before starting that noun has a type which is known as number. It states the number of any thing, person, place or thing. It is of two types that is singular and plural. Singular means anything that is one of its kind and plural means when there is more than one of that anim person, animal, thing or any place. So let's go through the chapter. The word singular refers to one person, animal, place or thing. So singular means anything that is one uh, in number like one boy, one bird, one flower, one umbrella like this when there is one thing or one person or one place or anything that is one at number that is known as singular. In, this, in the same way the word plural refers to two or more people, animals, places or things means when there is more than one uh, people, one, uh, more than one animal, more than one places or things, we refer to such words as plurals like uh, many boys, many birds, many flowers, all those things which are more than one that is known as plural. We often add S to a naming word and when it means more than one, that means when there is when there are more than one of anything or any place or any any animal or any people, we or uh, to refer to such uh, words or to refer to plural uh, words, what we do, we usually add s with the main word. Like you see, there is one boy, and to refer to many boys, we just add s with the word boy. Same similarly, one bird. To refer to many birds, we just add S with the main word that is bird. Likewise, one flower, many flowers. One umbrella, many umbrellas. One egg, many eggs. One tree, many trees. One book, many books. One girl, many girls. You see, all the words in the poem uh, has S at the last. Again, apart from S, there are few words or many words in which we add ES to denote their plural form. Some naming words end in ES when they mean more than one. That means there are some words for which, for whose plural form we don't add S, we add ES like one watch, many watches. One dress, many dresses. One box, many boxes. One glass, many glasses. One brush, many brushes. One bench, many benches. Students, you see, the words which end with CH, X, SH, double S, double S and CH. These words, they have ES in their plural form. Again, there are some naming words that end neither in S nor in ES when they mean more than one. There are some other changes. Many a time we don't uh, add S or ES to denote their plural form. What we do? We even when there is double O, we usually change this double O to double E. Like one foot, many feet. We don't say foots, we say feet. One man many men. We don't say mans, we say men. One mouse, many mice. We don't uh, use or we don't rise, write mouses, we write mice. One child, many children. One ox, many oxen. One puppy, many puppies. You see, the Y in the puppy has been removed and we have written IES. Similarly, there are more uh, such words like one woman, many women, one knife, many knives, one tooth, many teeth. This is the worksheet portion which I have already done for you. You can write it down.
So students, let's keep up to this much today. Write it write the answers in your textbook itself. Thank you.